Ms. Patty Sullivan is the IBM Education Solutions Executive at the IBM Corporation. Patty Sullivan is the Education Solutions Executive at the global education industry. Her responsibilities include overseeing IBM's partnership with both higher education institutions and K-12 school district. She leads efforts to create offerings responsive and to the education industry's needs, which combine IBM's products and services with those from other companies and public organizations. Ms. Sullivan joined IBM in 1982 as a sales trainee in Anchorage, Alaska, and has held various technical and marketing positions since then. Thank you, Chairman Miller, Ranking Member McKeon, and members of the House and Labor Committee. My name is Patty Sullivan, and I am honored to add my testimony to those with my esteemed panelists here uh, regarding this important issue of STEM education in America. In my oral testimony, I will show the importance of improving our education system, particularly in the STEM fields, to better prepare the next generation and the nation. I will then highlight the innovative approaches that companies like IBM are taking to promote STEM education among our nation's youth. I will end with actions Congress can take to help foster these initiatives. Chairman Miller and Ranking Member McKeon and other California members, it may interest you to know that IBM is working in California at the state level and with several school districts, including Clovis Unified, to improve STEM outcomes through better access to learning resources and better data management. IBM, like many U.S. headquartered companies, has become a globally integrated enterprise. As our economy becomes more globally integrated and competition becomes more intense for management and employees, there is growing recognition that innovation is the key to being able to effectively compete. The question we face is what needs to be done to create an environment that will foster innovation. An important criterion will be the quality of education in order to equip students with the needed skills for the 21st century workforce. STEM education is a critical skill in this equation, and we need to focus on the earliest stages of K-12. So what are some of the specific programs that IBM has underway to improve STEM outcomes in K-12? In 2006, IBM announced Transition to Teaching, our initiative to address K-12 issues and encourage young people to enter science and engineering careers by utilizing our mature workers who are interested in a second career in teaching, providing guidance, support, and funding to help them transition into teaching as their next career move. Specifically, IBM provides each participant with up to $15,000 for tuition reimbursement and stipends during their time gaining practical teaching experience in the classroom. Today, there are 100 IBMers participating in Transition to Teaching. We have further leveraged our greatest asset, our IBM employees. More than 100,000 have, have signed up for volunteer assignments through our on-demand community. Moreover, the majority of the IBMers who volunteer do so at every level of pre-K through high school, whether as one of the legions visiting schools for E-Week, Engineering Week, showcasing IBM's new 3D internet multiplayer game, Power Up, which focuses on solving problems related to energy and the environment. They also lead after-school programs for middle school students and coach high school students for science fair and robotic, robotics competitions through our Tri-Science tri program. On May 6th, 5th and 6th, 2008, IBM held a successful sum summit titled America's Competitiveness, Hispanic Participation in STEM Careers, which focused on developing an action plan that would encourage more Hispanic students to consider STEM careers. IBM is working with schools to make STEM learning materials and resources more accessible. IBM believes that through common open source learning systems built on open standards, these programs, curricula, and tools can become interoperable, allowing access to resources at every level of a student's academic experience. Transition to teaching and similar efforts are not a panacea, but they are part of a unique and real solution to the math and science teacher shortage. IBM is proud to demonstrate our corporate commitment to implementing solutions to the math science teacher problem in our country, and we are working with other companies to encourage them to adopt a similar model for their transitioning workforce. So what can Congress do? With overwhelming passage of the America Compete, Competes Act last year and its enactment into law, Congress demonstrated a partial commitment to the principles of advancing math and science education, as well as basic research in the physical sciences. The unfortunate reality is that the authorized programs in the Competes Act were not funded. 
This is a critical issue that must be addressed as soon as possible. We strongly encourage Congress to fulfill the promise of the Competes Act by appropriating the funding necessary to support both education and research. Funding these programs will enable us to train math and science teachers, provide scholarships to keep students in these fields, enable graduates to seed our economy and push the frontiers of knowledge through university research and promote diversity in the STEM fields. In conclusion, we believe that a national dialogue is needed. Public and private sector representatives, parents and teachers have to be increasingly focused on developing stronger, rigorous, relevant preparation for K-12 students to get them ready for STEM courses in college or to enter a knowledge-based workforce focused on increasing teacher excellence, curriculum quality, and offering tutoring and mentoring services to students. Unless we capture more minds, more hearts, more souls, and more passion for math and other STEM disciplines, the innovation leadership and global competitiveness of the United States will be extremely challenged, if not threatened, in the foreseeable future. Thank you very much.